What's up everybody, how you guys doing? We've got Bastet versus Chunga here. I think we're gonna go Curse. I was debating between Hog or Curse. I want Sunder, and I definitely need Curse at some point, so. Better to start off with the Curse. Has some, you know, has some big kill potential. And our clear is pretty decent. This matchup's an interesting one. I, I don't think I've lost it before, but I think that it would should probably go at least slightly to Chunga if she plays it correctly. Probably if she gets like a gem of ISO and you know, and plays it really smart, but I tend to just snowball hard against uh, a lot of Chungas. Let's get weirdy. Yeah, I'm zoning her off here. Oh, well, I don't know what she's doing. Took that. Yeah, he took that one. Deal. One for one. <laughs> Not one for one. Wow. One, one and one. Hey, like that? Nice. How do you like that? You're dead. <laughs> That's just dead. You're dead. Oh my god, this bitch! She's got every trick up her sleeve. I was thinking about jumping there, but too many times I have jumped and died there immediately. So, she used everything there, though. At least there's that. How do you like that? That's it. It's over. I don't know what's going on here. She does not seem to be respecting the fact that I'm best and I can kill him. That's like, I mean, that's an important thing to know, right? Positioning against certain characters, you just gotta recognize it. As Chunga there, early level, there's a certain way you have to play based on my character's uh, abilities. If you don't recognize it, it's, you know, it's like night and day. You spot the people that don't know what they're doing immediately. This guy might not even be a bad player, you know, it's just like he, he didn't recognize that I had like all the kill potential in the world there. So he doesn't have a sprint and that's probably the biggest problem here. Because Aegis cleanses the slow. Nice. But um, only after, uh, after its uh, duration runs out. It's kind of weird, I don't know why it does. So you can slow someone while they're in ages, but it'll like, I don't know, it's, it's weird as shit. Maybe it's only on activation it cleanses the slow, and then you can slow them after? I think that's what it is. On activation it cleanses it, and then when you're, while they're in it, you can slow them. I don't know. But either way, obviously sprint, you're uh, slowing in the whole time. A much better option, and the speed that it gives you is really important to escape Bastet, and especially the cats. So with a god like Chang'a, where you know what you're looking to do is kite, make me run around, waste a lot of time. I fucked up, so I just threw the cats so that I wouldn't die. <laughs> oh damn! Yeah, that's the perfect active for her. She walks up again. Ah, she made it. Oh, oh, this bitch! I can't believe I killed. I really didn't think it would. God damn it! All right, well there you have it. This should work. So I'm gonna rush like an early pestilence here with a. Uh, I'll go tier two bulwark or you know tier two pestilence, and then head into uh, like a Yuen's. All right, so even though she made a really glaring uh, mistake in the beginning there, and you know didn't opt to the sprint. She's definitely got potential here, and like I said, just because of that mistake doesn't mean the guy's a bad player, so he might have uh, some comeback potential here, so we don't want to go you know, get a little too ahead of ourselves. And I definitely got a little bit ahead of myself while I was in. I don't want her to steal this through the wall. So that's the wrong time. But I don't have kill potential. I didn't want to weaken in there. I didn't have my two up or anything. How do you like that? If I had a little bit more mana here, I could go ham. There we 
go. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> what a what a troll game. Nice. I can't believe that. The the fucking what is it? The crescent moon, whatever the fuck that ability is called, just kept going even after she died, and it still killed me. And it was literally just enough. Oh, whoops. Alright, alright. Alright, I'm flubbing. Flubbing hard. She's getting some... She's getting the right build online and everything, so... The later this goes, the more of an opportunity she's gonna have to win it, so we gotta be careful. Oh my god, I am literally the worst right now. I love Bastad too, she's like my favorite. So, I wanna, I wanna throw this. Wow, she still made the backing sound. Even though... Wow, she didn't look back. Right, that's good, lucky, lucky. All right, we're gonna reset our composure here. It's an important thing that you gotta learn to do, right? If you're not playing well, like I'm not this game, you just gotta back it up, rethink things a little bit, take a new approach. He can ult me here, it's fine, he's not gonna kill me. I had a feeling he would go for it, and he just wasted his ult, that's good. Nice. Alright, so let's just step it up. Start hitting our threes. Her blue's coming up soon. I'd like to be there for that. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well that three doesn't count. She literally disappeared, you know? Alright, that's good. So as Bass said, of course, you have this in amazing farm game. You can, you know, uh, leap beyond walls, steal shit from people, uh, Go over, take stuff, and you know, just quickly zip back to, to your bus. He's very versatile. Hmm. This should work. Sunder's gonna be really nice. Your middle tower is under attack. Got no, uh. I didn't want to use my Sunder, but I guess I kind of have to. <laughs> He's got no sprint there, so that's. You just know that's a confirmed kill. If she didn't make so many of these uh, little mistakes in, uh, in approaching me in this early game, she seems strong mechanically. Like, she knows what she's doing. She would have a good chance of taking this. Just off of the fact that I didn't pressure as well as I uh, should have, too. Because I was missing so much shit. But, you know, she's never really fully out of this. Since it is a winning matchup for her. If, if at least, you know, slightly. Nice. So we go Pestilence with the beat stick. I almost always go Bulwarks. It's like really rare that I'm going Pestilence here. But with Bastet, since you're such like a, you know, um, a hands-on god that you're always, you know, looking to be on top of uh, your enemy to, you know, to chase them down directly. There's not really much like, you do, you do some, you know, bopping and weaving oh. with your one. But for the most part, you're right on top of them. She still got no uh, sprint. Close. We got it. I almost always level the three before my ult. I accidentally put an ult point, but. Yeah, so Bastet's all about just seizing your early game opportunities. 
You have to be as aggressive as possible. That's why, you know, I really synergize with her. I like her a lot. All about recognizing, more than any other god really, all about recognizing when, you know, uh, what abilities have been used by your enemy and when. As soon as she hit, uses that too, you gotta, you know, jump right on it. Hold it. How do you like that? Probably the first time I haven't gone hog in her in like all this season. But I like it more, I think, this in this particular matchup, you know. She's leading with her ultimate a lot in positions where she shouldn't be. She should always save that ultimate for when I use my cats, because then she could burst them. You know, along with me. It's very easy to line that up to hit me and them, because it's such a huge radius. Thing is, I want fire here, but I don't have a hog, so what we're going to have to do is ward up. Usually I'd have the Hydra's done earlier, but obviously Beat Sick is a pretty big priority here. It's really a priority, like, I, I almost never go to um, two anti-heal items against chung -Ga. But in this case, given that I'm trying to snowball, I think that it's, uh, it's, it's pretty worth it. Especially Pestilence is a really good, uh, early early game item because you get it online faster than the bulwark it allows you to build into more uh, more items more quickly it's got really good stats on it okay those are off on my timing here but we got the sprint that's what we needed she wants to go back in here she'll probably die Making sure I'm using the uh, passive of the Hydra's. You know it's only two two. Your team has go get the red buff. Enemy Phoenix. And despite a shaky start from me there, um, you know mechanically we were able to dial it back and pretty much don't have any uh, problems. So I think that's the biggest tip you can give somebody in like any sort of competitive scenario, even though this is obviously you know, like a half competitive scenario duel. Because it's ranked, but it's really like, is it really competitive, you know? Um, you know, in any sort of uh, high pressure fighting, just taking a step back and, you know, re-examining things. Not like pushing that offensive, because a lot of times when you're sucking, you want to just like keep pushing the offensive and, and feel, you, you feel like you gotta prove something to yourself. And to the other guy, and to the people watching, right? <laughs> but if you can just take a moment to step back and uh, and reevaluate, you usually be able to, you know, get back in the zone. Whoa, that was weird. Did it just like eat that? I think he healed at the exact same time that it hit. Got a little bit of damage in here. Uh, <laughs> Now I'll probably sell my Pestilence for a Bulwark, actually. Because she's getting that point where she can chunk me. Chunk God defends so well, it's, it's really frustrating to deal with. 
Not yet. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna go get the blue buff and then come back and get it. Like yeah, because she can, you know, she has like good one shot potential on me here. Maybe not one shot, but two combos. If they're old, then I'm dead. Might as well just farm this wave as well. So without the bulwark, I don't have that much uh, potential to dive as well. Is is most important. Because I'm gonna need to dive that titan. Make some trades. Up, obviously. Some damage on Titan. Baited out the ultimate again, too. And it's about half health. She's got no ult, but. Nah, she still got sprint. Ah, shit. Might be able to finish it though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. So he just threw everything at her so that she had to keep back into the well. Scratch. While we were while uh, while we were seizing Titan there, and uh, there you have it. GG.